Another beautiful day on the way, I would think. It's only two degrees in Shepherd at the moment, so it is a cool start. For weeks, it's been quiet on the streets of Shepparton. Now, that's about to change. You wouldn't think that such a one little announcement would make such an impact on people, but yeah, everyone's very happy that we're getting a sense of normality back. Through weeks of an outbreak that put almost a third of the regional city into home quarantine and saw 500 health workers furloughed, nurse Raylene Wilson has been doing vital work. She's been leading a vaccination team at the Shepparton Showgrounds. They're doing 850 vaccinations a day. But we always fill our appointments. We are very fortunate this community wants to be vaccinated. Raylene thinks of herself and her family as lucky. So I live on a lifestyle rural property about 40 kilometres northeast of um, Shepparton. We were in isolation for such a short period of time, which had its own challenges. We live um, in an area that's not serviced by the NBN. Uh, we have really poor internet connection. Almost four weeks ago, Shepparton recorded its first COVID-19 case in more than 300 days. The outbreak skyrocketed as children attending local schools were identified as COVID positive. When it first happened, we had one case. It was a Friday. I remember that call very well. Within the week, we had 20,000 people in isolation. It can have some challenges, particularly the language barrier. My name is Jonathan Safari. Uh, and I've been living in Shepparton for almost not for three years, yeah. I work at Point of Different Studio. Um, it's a non, non-for-profit organization here in Shepparton. Usually there's a lot of people in here. Jonathan Safari and the other members of Point of Difference helped get the lockdown message out. I mean, Shepparton is, is a beautiful place. Like, this place is a place I don't want to live. It's a place I call home and everyone is there for each other. It's, it's, it's a small community, but um, it's there's a lot of love. The pandemic has affected my music very bad. Um, there's no shows, there's no events, there's no gigs, there's no money. I want to get to know you and you can get to know me too. So To help Shepard and artists who've lost work, Jonathan created an online talent quest, the prize money coming from his own pocket. Whoever wins, the first person to win is going to get $500. I know it's not a lot, but I know that can help someone. Like this pandemic has been impacting, especially a lot of youth. Like for me personally, I never like thought like mental health was a big problem or a big issue until it hit me. Azem Almaz runs one of the businesses that's pitched in. And I've been living in Shepparton 32 or three years, so quite a long time. And I, I love Shepparton every bit of it. Last year, his restaurant prepared free meals for people hit hard by COVID. This year, the demand is far greater. Before, I used to do, last year, I used to do roughly about from 80 to 120, 150 meals a day. Now we jump to five, six hundred meals a day. We get in text messages and we just drop the meals to them, but uh, mainly the families doing a bit tough who lost the jobs. After the restaurant initially funded the meals themselves, donations have flooded in. No rest for me. I gotta keep working. I just get up, have my shower, do my prayer, and I'm off. The last two weeks, I started by six in the morning and I finished by 11 at night. So. I don't like having breaks, get, I get lazy. After recording new cases for more than three weeks, on Saturday there were no new cases in Greater Shepparton. There hasn't been a new case since then. Look, I think it's always times all communities get a bit of a bad rap, but I'm always really proud of our community and great when you can prove, you know, that you are bigger and better than that. Now Shepparton is getting some freedom back, thoughts are turning to Ballarat, heading into lockdown absolutely feel for them you know it was devastating when we went into our hard lockdown here and I hope the rest of the state and the country you know looks at our community to say well wow it can be done if you do the right thing but I want to go I want to go perform I want to go to music you know I'm tired of being uh, in and out of lockdown whatever happens we still we still look at the positive way still whatever whatever happens 
we're still here. We still kick the goals. Everybody kicks the goal at the end of the day. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.